multiplication of irrational numbers. Now, when we do a multiplication of irrational numbers, it's pretty easy. So let's say for example, let's take this example, you have multiply 4 root 8 and 9 root 8. Now in case of addition, what we saw was that the addition can be done only if the roots are common. In case of multiplication, those restrictions do not apply. So what that means is that if I have to multiply 4 root 8 by 9 root 8, okay, this simply means what? It means 4 times root 8, okay, into 9 times root 8. Now, incidentally, in this case, the roots are common, okay? So we can just reorganize that as 4 times 9 times root 8 times root 8. Or in other words, this can be written as 4 times 9 times 8 because root 8 into root 8 is equal to 8. And when you take the answer for this, it comes to 288. Now, in this case, we had these roots at common. Okay, now what happens if these roots are not common? Let's see another example. So let's say if I tell you, you have to multiply 4 root 5 and 9 root 3. We can write this as 4 times root 5 and into 9 times root 3. Again, when we reorganize this, we have 4 into 9 into root 5 into root 3. Right? Or in other words, you have 36 times root 15. Right? So you just leave it as it is. So it can be written as 36 root 15. We do not have anything further to do because even 15 cannot be further broken down into proper numbers. But what I wanted to illustrate was that in this case we have multiplied these two numbers. So root 5 has been multiplied by root 3 to write 5 times 3 gives you 15 and we just write the square root of this number.